goes on, people. Welcome to the Den Knight, and today we're going to be looking at the Cayman America figure from Iconic Comics. Uh, of course, this is just the outer box. This was the uh, shipping box. So I did kind of want to show this off because I always love when I get their stuff. Very beautiful shipping boxes. Just a bunch of the characters from the various properties of Iconic Comics. But this one is just going to be focused on King in America. So let's take a look. I already cut it, obviously. I wanted to make sure there was no stuff at my address. Of course, a thank you card, which always comes with their stuff. Put that out of the way. And then, of course, we have the King in America figure itself. A quick look at the box. So, lots going on. Kind of got overwhelmed for a minute, but a whole lot going on here. Just various comic panels from the series. Of course, like a pinup thing on the back, a little description. Came in America in Japanese writing, of course. So, with that said, let's get her out of the box and see what all we have in here. And here we got her all out of the box. So, take a quick look at the accessories first. Um, obviously, she's got the optional skirt for her uniform. Uh, then this ribbon, which I believe goes off the back. There's probably a slot. Looks like there's probably a slot back there. Ayo. Uh, she's got optional accessories, or I should say hands. This stuff's really little. <laughs> I don't even really have big hands, but I can't imagine someone who does handling this stuff. So, on her array, she has fists, and then she's got some optional... I'm going to end up using this one if I can even pick it up. Table's dirty. Um, yeah, like the V Victory hand. Got some gripping hands, just different, all different poses of hands. Oh, I missed one over here. Uh, and she's got some alternate, I'd say faces, but they're actually full heads. So different heads with expressions. So kind of a surprised look, but still with her her mask on, and then just the regular civilian head, which also has her civilian hair color. And then, of course, her little laser sword thing. So, quick look at the figure. Um, I'm gonna have to use the heat thing on this, because pretty much every other joint on this is a little stiff, and I don't want to end up breaking it. She's very slight of frame in a lot of places, so I just don't want to break any of the joints. The hands are fine because there's nothing really to them, but both elbows are kind of stiff. Uh, one of the two knee joints in each, and one of the feet is stuck like this, so I gotta get a hair dryer and kind of play around with that. But overall, it is a very nice figure. If you're familiar with the comic series, it's a very fun series. Uh, can't, came in America. I think they're up to like volume 9 now as of the as of this video. But obviously a little <laughs> exaggerated in proportions, but nice figure overall, very good paint. I'll definitely end up using the skirt. I think it'll cuz it'll cover up all these weird joint gaps better. But for an independent thing, not a bad figure at all. And I definitely can't wait to see if he makes the rest of the characters. So with that said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those YouTube things if you feel like it. And as always, keep collecting. Bye.